Hey everyone, Joshua Pollard at Just an Oil Guy on Twitter. Uh, off topic, does your landscapers feel the need to run your shit over as well? I mean, how hard is it to pick up a freaking frisbee and move it two feet? I mean, seriously, seriously. Anyway, sorry for that. I get off on a rant every once in a while. Um, this video, I'm going to talk about working interest, net revenue interest, and overriding royalty interest um, I'm gonna make another video I don't know if I'll get to it today I'm gonna draw it out all pretty on a dry erase board for you as well of course my email will be below the video if you have any questions feel free to uh, email me and ask me um, working interest if you think of a house you own 100% of the house it's the same thing in oil when you sign a lease, you own 100% of the oil well. Net revenue interest is the revenue after you pay overrides and the mineral owner. Overrides we'll get into in a minute, but when you sign a lease, basically, typically 18 to 25% of everything that comes out of the ground goes to the mineral owner for signing the lease with you. Okay, and then overriding royalty interest is exactly as it sounds. It's a one-way street. You just make money. You don't have to pay anything at all. It's it's awesome if you can get it cheap. Typically, you can't get it cheap, though. Um, all right, back to working interest. So say we have a well, okay? We own 100% of the well for which we had to pay 100% of the cost. So if you own 10% out of the 100%, you have to pay 10% of the operating cost, 10% of the drilling, all that stuff. Okay, does that make sense? Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Typically, operating costs, they're different from everywhere, so I won't really get into that. You know, injecting water, electrical, service. Anytime there's a bill, if you own working interest, you have to pay the bill, okay? Now, go to net revenue interest. Net revenue interest is like I said, and exactly as it sounds, net revenue interest. How much? Typically, say we start with 75% of the well net revenue interest. If you own 10% working interest, you probably own 7.5% net revenue interest. It is after you've paid the mineral owner the overrides and any other stuff like that okay now taxes will come out of it uh, the state gets a piece government gets a piece everybody gets a piece but that is what's the net after the mineral owner and everybody else has been paid hope that makes sense doesn't sound like it's making sense right now I apologize uh, when I put it on dry erase it'll probably make a lot better sense but that's net revenue interest doesn't make any sense at all, does it? It's okay. Well, fuck it. Um, and then override. Um, typically, when a company is trying to pick up more acreage, they will sell 1% to 5% overrides on wells. Okay, because you know what you've got and you want to get more. So you call and say, hey, do you want to pick up a couple points override? Overriding royalty interest, once again, you don't pay anything. It just comes to you. So when you buy it, you're done. As long as that well is producing, you're getting 1% to 5% of the well. Okay. Net revenue interest, you have to pay because you have working interest. You have the ownership. Therefore, you have to pay the ownership fees to get the net revenue coming off of it. I hope that made sense. I don't think it did. I'm sorry. I apologize. When I put it on the dry erase board, I hope it makes more sense. I'm probably going to get a lot of emails about this. Feel free to. That's what I get for sucking at explaining things. But there you go. Hope it helped. Um, until next time, have a good one. Please like, subscribe, and follow me on Twitter at Just an Oil Guy. Thanks.